I was a production manager at Propaganda Films at the time, and uh, our head of production gave me the script, and, and I read it, and wanted, asked me if I wanted to work on it. And when I read the script, I was like, I went to this camp. I think I was the only East Coaster that actually went to these camps other than Slavi over here. Uh, and so everything he wrote, I was like, oh yeah, we did that. Oh, and it, yeah, we had those script fights. Oh yeah, we snuck out of the bunks at night and walked across the, and we always had this, uh, Seek the plumber story. So I really, it really was really part of my, you know, upbringing. So I uh, was loved the show, and my job was to when Slavi and his team wrote the scripts, I would break down the scripts and you know figure out how we shoot these scenes and where we shot the scenes and what order we shot those scenes, and we would uh, look at the script and say, okay, what are they doing to Kirk this week? <laughs> so uh, that, that was my role. Um, Steve and I had been friends for several years, and we, I was working in children's marketing at the time, and uh, I uh, figured that one person on the show needed to know how to deal with children. So <laughs> I, I, right, so I said, Steve, this is the time you need to take me with you on a job. Um, so that's how I. Well, Steve and I are, we're from roughly the same area of Connecticut, and we had both moved out here, and we didn't know each other, but there were some forces back there that were trying to fix this up, and at the time, I was uh, writing music for a show called uh, uh, Head of the Class, and uh, Steve called me, or we, oh, my, my aunt gave me one of those phone calls. When you're in California, you gotta call Ed. <laughs> call so, Ed. So I think you know, the last thing I wanted to do was call Ed. Meanwhile, Ed's there at the end of the table. So, what was the first year? Absolute shorts, what did we start? 890? Right, so it was like two, I had been doing head of the class for two years, and, and at that point, Steve and I got hooked up, and um, it was Kismet, and um, we wrote a, Great theme song with the word fart in it. That's right. And uh, I'm, the the old, I'm, the old, I'm, I'm the only member of ASCAP who actually has the word fart in his lyrics. <laughs> and I Google it. TV, TV theme songs with the word fart in it. And we are the only one. So. <laughs>